what is going on guys this is your jedi master the melted jedi and yeah i'm back about uh nine days ago we uh put out a video this one here called fix field of view and um we have something better like we have something better so let me uh let me just school you guys on the way of the ways of camera tweaks so let's see if we um we click here we can see the camera tweaks let's go ahead and click over here i know you guys don't like this skin i got comments about this skin i didn't put this skin on okay it was in a save file i was testing this but take a look at this okay so we've got some field of view stuff going on here you can see kratos's feet here here you could barely see past his and you got the you got the uh you know you got the severed head down here that he carries all around you guys know what i'm saying right so you can see here from where the chain is you could barely see uh the bottom of that and look how much the difference makes now this thing is fully configurable you don't have to run some sketchy utility you know what i'm saying the last one would get eaten by defender it wasn't so good it was a little bit garbage it was a little bit poodoo but guess what it worked right so what we're going to do is we're going to cycle on over back on over to the camera tweaks this is out here on nexus i'll put the link up for you guys so you guys can go and download it right so what this does is basically if we click on the description here um changes third person camera distance offset and field of view so what the offset means is you can actually shift kratos to the left or to the right if you would like to i don't know why you would want to do that but you can do that you know what i'm saying you could change the offset you could change the fov you could change the camera distance which is basically what i'm looking at right here and so if you set it too high it's going to look all weird but basically you could change the max distance of the camera this is amazing guys it's a lua it's a lua script it's totally free to download basically you need two things you gotta download uh into your game directory uh, that's the directory containing your gowr.exe right so uh find where your game is installed to find your main exe you're going to download this and extract this into your uh directory and you're probably not going to have a mod loader so you're going to need a mod loader right so if you're on uh, if you're on linux you're going to want to make sure you take a look at this launch option right here and there is an ini file it's going to generate well actually it'll just be there a config.ini that you can actually tweak this even when you're in the game it's really really cool so check this out you go over to the files you download the ragnarok camera tweaks you're going to download like a little uh what is it a uh, seven zip file when you download the seven zip file you're going to need something like winrar so uh that's a free utility you can go out and get winrar w-i-n-r-a-r -R, and that will open it up and extract that folder for you you're also going to need this mod loader right here right mod loader so you download that it's also going to be another uh seven zip file a 7z file or whatever you're going to need winrar to extract that too so you basically put these files mod loader i and i and version dll uh down there in your files where the god of war is so let's take a look here i've downloaded these once you've got your uh uh winrar or there's you know there's there's different utilities for unpacking or unzipping uh lots of you know things like that you know um but you need to be able to, to do it a 7z file so basically you can right click you can uh open with winrar extract ex I, this is what i like to do extract to mod loader this basically just makes a folder right so you basically grab these couple of files right and this folder you throw it in bada boom bada bang and then um you also do the mod loader which is these two files right here let me make them look a little bigger it's a version.dll and a mod loader dot i and i it's very easy to install so let's go ahead and jump in the game and i will take a look at how this looks by default so i'm gonna actually un take that out of my game and then i will put back in the camera tweak so you can see exactly how this looks and i'm going to give you my recommendation on the tweak 
how you should set it up in the configuration file. So stick around. Also, uh, the link is down in the description. While you're down there, click the like button, right? If you absolutely hate it, you hate my guts, click the download, click the dislike button, right? Sure, whatever, whatever. I don't care, right? So uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're going to use for your FOV or your camera distance, whatever it is. And uh, we'll take a look at that here in just a second. All right. We are back and we're in the game now. This is pretty much your default FOV. Uh, I'm pretty sure I took out the DLL for the mod. So you can see we're kind of like right below Kratos' ass here. And it's no bueno. You know, it's, it's way too claustrophobic. I can't play it like this. Let's go ahead and reinstall the camera tweaks. And I will show you exactly what that looks like. All right, guys, we are back. We can see Kratos' feet. Oh my gosh, it is a freaking miracle, right? Looks so good. Uh, you're also seeing some RTX uh, HDR stuff going on. So it's, it's going to look even better uh, with that going on. That's that's what the newest NVIDIA drivers you want to check that out. It has multi-monitor support now. Anyways, uh, we're going to pop over into our folder here. This is in the Ragnarok Camera Tweaks folder, which you uh, popped into your God of War Ragnarok folder there is a config dot yani that i'm going to pull down here there we go and let's see what we've got it set to i think the actual default is something like 56 or something like that um let's go ahead and save that you can actually edit this while you're in the game which is freaking amazing right so this is like basically what the default looks like um i have set this line uh, down here. So basically, let's take a look at this uh, INI file, okay? And I'll talk about what I've set mine to. So you have an X, a Y, and a Z. And that's just kind of how things work in 3D space, if you know what that means. You also have an FOV. That works off of your 16.9, just a standard screen. So not a, not a wide screen or ultra wide or anything like that. Um, it will show you a horizontal FOV, right? So basically, um other parameters can't be modified like pitch and um most of the stuff is you're gonna leave alone right um this one here the original val this is original value um let's take a look here real quick the original file the original file will say something like this fov equals fov times 1.15 however you can see up here where it will say um you can actually change this so this one is like a degree of value um so but we can actually set this to a specific not a degree we can actually set this to a specific fov which is really cool so let's say if we pop back over here so i've set this to 56 which is i think it's either 50 or 56 something like that as the default i'm going to set this to what I like to do is say FOV equals 100, right? So you basically take out this FOV times what you take all that stuff out. You type in 100, right? So then we go file, save or control S. If you're super duper awesome, good at computers, then you do the control S if you're super duper awesome. And then you go back into the game and bam, we are freaking rocking and rolling, right? If you're like, wait, uh, I don't even believe that this guy just freaking edited his F his camera distance inside of the game without even exiting it. You know what? I will prove it to you. We'll go ahead and go 200. It's going to look like super crazy. You won't even believe what's happening. You're going to blow your damn pants off is what's going to happen. Look at this. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's get off of that. That looks absolutely freaking ridiculous, right? Let's go, uh, let's try 90. Let's see. Some people might like to dial in 90. So we're going to hit our uh, super awesome control S there. Minimize that. Get rid of this, this uh, whole plane of existence right here. Then this is what 90 looks like, right? So that's 90. And then I also like to dial in, or I, I prefer to dial in 100. Let's go 110 and just see what that looks like for you guys. Also, if you guys enjoy this video and this works for you, 
go ahead and give me a subscribe. I'm really trying to grow my subscribers and I really need your help. One t 110 doesn't look too bad. It actually, um, it actually does seem to, uh, really be kind of nice, but I think it needs to be dialed in just a little bit further. So I like the 100. Now let's go ahead and check. Okay. So we can see him in the menus, certain mods and stuff like that. You don't see him in the actual menus. So like the characters don't show up. That's a weird, that's a weird issue, but I don't seem to be having that. Hopefully you guys avoid that. I'm going to dial it back to 100. Uh, let's go to, yeah, 100 and control s that super duper awesome and bam there we are guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to smash that like button and hey, let's get some pumpkins over here where's some good pumpkins at don't forget to smash that like button don't forget to subscribe and yeah guys as always keep it sticky keep it awesome keep it fresh keep it rocking and uh, we'll see you in the next one Jedi out.